Hi, my name is Ken Tran from Geeky TV, and I'm here to discuss the Smart Video Hub Router from Blackmagic Design. As you know, here at Geekbee TV, we use a lot of different video equipment, and we have lots of different cameras and lots of different things going into our TriCaster. So one of the hardest things we have to deal with is to plug cameras in and out of our TriCaster all the time. So one of the things we can use to get around this problem is called a video router. So I hear today is the Blackmagic's version of their video router called the Smart Video Hub. As you can see, it's a pretty simple device. It's very small. It's very thin. You know, pretty shallow device. One U of rack space. They can go to any standard 19-inch rack. And the, what makes the Smart Video Hub pretty cool is it has a control interface on the front of it. So here we have input buttons and here we have output buttons that can allow you to assign the inputs and outputs directly to our system. And on the back here, we have 16 inputs and 16 outputs. So any input that goes into here, we can assign to any output on the other side. As well as we also have things like uh, network interfaces, so we can control it via like an iPad or a computer system. Uh, a serial interface for when you want to control like VTR decks like Sony uh, videotape players, a reference in for gen locking if you want to lock all your cameras together using a, a sync signal, and a USB interface for direct control using a computer. So the best way to explain this device is to just wire it up and you can see what it does. So we'll be right back with the wiring. All right guys, we're back. Now I have the Video Hub router wired into our LCD screens here. Uh, both of these devices are from Blackmagic Design. They work really well together. So right now I have a camera hooked into the Video Hub on input one. I have a iPad running the actual Video Hub uh, iPad app on input two. So all I have to do, if I wanted to assign, say, we have screens left and right here. If I want to say, assign one screen to be on number two, there we go. All I have to do is just push a button, or I can put it back on the camera right there. Or if I want to try assign the other screen to the camera, I can just do that. Now, as you notice, I can actually repeat the same signal onto multiple outputs, which is another feature of this thing. It saves you from having to buy an extra splitter just, just to split out the signal to different screens. You can actually use this router. So any of the 16 inputs can be assigned to any 16 outputs, and you can repeat those same inputs on any of the outputs as you like. So another cool feature of the Smart Hub as that's common to all of the Video Hub devices, actually, is the iPad app itself. It basically allows you to control the system from the iPad using a bunch of different buttons, basically. It's pretty easy to read. All you have to do is make sure that this system is hooked into your local network and your iPad is hooked into the local network as if your computer were at the same time. So overall, this is a pretty good system. At oh, just over $1,800, it's not a cheap system, though. Combined with the micro hub without the control panel and buying a separate control panel is about $1,900. So you save a little bit of money by doing the combo system as well as having the whole thing into one Rack U unit itself. Overall, it's a pretty good system. I like it a lot. We use it a lot here for our Skype systems, as in we have our four Skype machines running into this system, and then we can pipe these things into our TriCaster without me having to unplug and replug uh, signals into the TriCaster all the time, risking damaging the TriCaster as well as damaging connectings on the cameras and damaging cables and anything like that. Everything is pretty much static and done via software in this hub itself. Overall, I like it a lot. It's a great thing to look at and uh, start out as an entry-level item. My name is Ken Tran, and this is GeekBeat TV, so be sure to subscribe to us at youtube.com slash GeekBeatTV. Uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, give us a comment what you think of this system and how you would use it in your studio setup if you were building a pro setup. Again, my name is Ken Tran, and thanks for watching.